Hello, hello, and welcome to Cat's Treasure Hunting. I am at Divine Ministries in Ocala, Florida. I haven't been here in a really, really long time. They have stuff really cheaper. They did. I think it's been about two years since I've been here. The only thing that sucks here is it's only cash. I've been running into a lot of stores lately that are only cash. Let me know if you guys have a bunch of cash only stores too. Kind of frustrating because I hardly ever carry cash. But we're going to go inside and see what we can find. All right, so this store is crazy. You guys think the dollar clothes are cheap. This store's clothes are like five cents. Five cents. You could get 20 pieces of clothing for one dollar. How crazy is that? A nickel. So pretty cool. This all goes to the ministry and pretty much all the prices here are excellent. We'll see if we see any toys. I don't see anything. A lot of them look like they were in pretty poor condition. Now here, this is a really, really nice pair of Nike golf shoes. And I think they're a dollar. But somebody cut the size out. They would need to be clean. But even for a dollar, with me not being sure of the size, I think I'm going to leave them. Check out that crabs in a bucket sign. If I had a antique booth, I would totally have gotten that. Pillowcases are a quarter. Like these prices are insanely, insanely low and they have so, so much stuff. You probably could really spend a whole day in here looking through everything. And I didn't do a ton of digging this day, but there is quite a bit of stuff. So you guys know I love vintage pillowcases. Not seeing any catching my eye just yet. But we will see if we can find some more. And I mean, if you look here, look at all this craft stuff, rubber stamps, ribbon, it's like a quarter. And I have sold some patterns lately, but I don't know enough to really pick out what would be good. I was hoping I would find some little cross stitch kits in there, but I didn't see any. Look, five cents for CDs, DVDs. These are Sakura little napkin rings. They're two. Those sell okay, but they only sell for about $10. So typically if I'm only selling it for $10, I'm going to want to pay a dollar. I do try and stay above that $15 to $20 mark though. Just because of the time that you put into it. And there are some hats over here to the left. This one is South Beach Symposium. A lot of the stuff in here is in a little bit of rough condition, so you do have to check it. But check out the Seattle Seahawks Christmas hat. I think it ended up being like 10 cents, and that one should be worth between 20 and $25. So that one was definitely a really, really good find. And I will have to come back here when I am feeling a little better. So I feel like investigating more a lot of these stores that are jam-packed you could probably spend the whole day i think these are little recycled glass shot glasses but i don't i don't think they would be overly valuable they weren't marked and i love picking up tiles definitely watch for tiles that one had a little bit of wear but i have sold some southwestern tiles for Upwards of $30 to $50 for one tile. So definitely watch out for tiles. Look at all of these purses. It's absolute mayhem. It's crazy. I like the print on this one in the back, but look at the condition of the leather. We're going we're gonna to leave that. And let's see over here with the Christmas stuff. Look, a quarter for the, their prices are just absolutely fabulous. So I guess we'll forgive them for only taking cash. Look at this. This is a really cool, it's HGTV. It's a newer one. It's only a dollar, but it's a really cool toy soldier stocking holder. So we're going to grab that as well. So we are hitting it home on the Christmas stuff. Now I did notice in here, a lot of the stuff is newer, but check out this Cloisonne bell. It doesn't have its actual bell, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Even just for decor without the bell and I'm sure somebody could repair it. I miss that cardinal. I'm so sad I didn't see that bead cardinal. I didn't see it until I was watching this video back unfortunately. 
And I think their Christmas stockings here are only a quarter. So normally I am used to paying a dollar and I might have to come back and look through these because I definitely do good with Christmas stockings and actually take them all out and put them back in. That's gonna be the only way to really see exactly what is in these bins because just kind of fumbling around, you definitely don't get to see everything, I feel like. I would like to have like an empty basket to move them in. Now look here, these are some vintage kind of taper Christmas candles and those are a quarter. So we are going to get those. They are made in China, but I think those are probably like 1990s would be my guess. Maybe 80s, not really sure. That little mouse was cute, but he was a newer one. Let's see what else we see up here. This is an Indianapolis Colts little glass ball. That one, I don't know why I put it back. Sometimes I just am not feeling <laughs> picking up things. Let me know in the comments if you guys are like that. Now here, you guys know my weakness is Tervis. And I see some Tervis, but these Tervis are like really, really poor condition. They are scratched and dinged up and... I think Tervis does a lifetime warranty, and I know some people have told me you could send them in. I've never done that. If you've done that, let me know. I'm so sad about this one because I would have kept this for me, but look at how scratched up. I love the octopus, though. It is so cool for only a dollar, but so scratched up. So if you've sent Tervis back, let me know because I'd definitely be interested in knowing your experience for that. And you can see they have tons and tons of dishes and also fabric. This is all fabric straight ahead of me. So, so much stuff. This is like, if you were crafter, this would be an amazing, amazing place to go. And I don't typically look at luggage. I look, I look to see if I see well-made, but that's about it. Now here... I just happened to see the Hogs Breast Saloon. There's actually only one koozie listed, and it's a set of two for 20. I think I'll list that one for about 15 bucks. So I think I ended up paying like a nickel or 10 cents for it. Not, not very much at all. They have got so many linens here. This is actually Valances. That was a really cool print with the wolves. But for me with Valances, if they are not a good name brand, I typically don't pick them up. I will pick up other linens, like if it's blankets or throws, pillowcases with really cool um, prints, but I feel like valances are kind of specialized, so those I tend to stay away from unless it's a brand that I'm familiar with and know that it will sell. Always look for Lisa Frank when you're in these office supply sections i have not been lucky enough to find her in the wild but maybe one day i will we will see they've got pens stationery there's so much stuff i was so excited to see this and then i touched it and it is plastic so i decided to leave that there i don't know you guys let me know would you have picked it up being plastic look at all their prices <laughs> like the highest price is like a dollar on most things some blankets are two now up here up top this definitely caught my eye vintage reversible plush throw and this one we're gonna unfold it and see if we can see i think it's horses yes look at how gorgeous beautiful plush blanket and it's like two dollars so we definitely it looks like there's a name on the bottom of that too so I should be able to look that up pretty decent but for two bucks we are definitely going to get that and just like that with one blanket my my poor little hand basket is going to be full but it's okay we will we will keep stacking we're gonna stuff let's see if they have any good pillows this one had a little bit of discoloration, so I didn't grab that one. We'll get our basket and go see what else we see. Look at all of these crocheted blankets. Tons and tons. I am pretty picky with what patterns I pick up for those. And up top, what I am looking at is uh, pillowcase covers. 
and those I have done very, very well with. This one kind of caught my eye. I'm going to see if there's a brand. I'm not overly thrilled with the pattern, but if it's a brand, I know. And it looks like it's Merchant 41. That's not a name I know. And since it's not really bright or eye-catching, I think we will leave that one behind. It's so crazy because I was trying to be careful because I didn't have a ton of cash. And when you hear my total at the end, it is absolutely crazy. Look at how cute this is. It says grannies are just antique little girls. It's a vintage velvet backed throw pillow. I did throw that in our basket and we'll see what other pillows we see in here. Let's see. Look at this little kitty cat one. It is Whiskers & Co. I'm not familiar with it. It looked like it had quite a bit of like piling, so I left it. But check out this 3D rose crocheted pillow. I love that one. We are definitely going to get that one. And look at this cute little lace pillow with little flowers. We are going to get that one as well. All right, our overstuffed basket. We are, we are going to keep going. And I haven't been picking up throws lately. I might go back and get some throws there. Um, most throw like tapestry type blankets can be very, very long tail. So if you don't have a lot of storage, you have to be very, very particular with which ones you're picking up. Look at this beautiful paisley print placemats. I'm going to grab those. So up top here is placemats. And I think, again, they're like... 10 cents each. Look at this. These are Grand Canyon little hot chili peppers. Those are super cute placemats. We're going to grab those as well. And if you ever notice, I think people donate stuff together because these kind of match. These are really, really cute Southwestern placemats. And we're going to pick those up too. So we're definitely hitting it home with the placemats today. And they have some napkins here. They have so much. And you guys know I love linens. So this is like a perfect store to hunt for different linens for sure. Let's see. Look at this pillowcase. Look at her dress. It is discolored, but you can easily, easily fix that with OxyClean or Restoration or many other products. And look at this yo-yo quilt. This is different with those colors. Normally they're like pastels. So we're going to grab that one as well. It's like linens on linens on linens here. There's just so many. And the prices you absolutely cannot beat. I wish they had buggies here because I definitely would fill up a buggy. We're going to look at some napkins. These are only 20 cents. So like you're used to seeing the dollar, but here it's like cents. These are 50 cent, really cute vintage holly napkins, or maybe they were 30 cents. We're going to get those for sure. Lots of napkin rings. There's so much stuff. Now, most of these vintage linens look like they're discolored that I'm seeing in the bin. So I'm going to leave those. I, I will sometimes restore things, but I haven't had much free time lately. So I don't want to pick up stuff that I don't have time to restore. That, that blanket was kind of cool and I didn't even look at it. Bunches of towels, towels and towels and towels. All right, let's see what else. Look at all of the stuff. Another bin. Let's see if we can find anything down in this bin. Look at, look at all of my stuff. I have so much stuff. So, so much. Oh, look at how beautiful. I think these are actually bread basket covers. They have the little ties. So pretty and only 50 cents. Definitely going to pick those up. I have done very, very well with bread basket covers. And this, I think, is actually just like a little lace. Let's see. 
All right, we're going to head into, like, the breakables. These little strawberry dishes were cute. They are action. I'm not really familiar with them, so I think I'm going to leave those there. All right, look at all of these mugs. It, I think this is the most mugs I have seen at a thrift store. There, there are so many. And I'm just trying to see if any of them really stick out to me. And not really, but look back here. Some cool stuff back here. I didn't get these. I'm not sure if I should have got those, but check out this Lena Lou. I've done really well with Lena Lou. And look at the saucer on this. Beautiful butterflies. And I think it's like 50 cents or a dollar. So we're definitely going to get that. And look at all of the clear glass. I know some of you like clear glass. And if you know somebody that teaches about the clear glass, you can let me know. But I feel like it all looks the same. <laughs> I'm really bad about it. I like the shape of that rectangle vase. And it was only $1.50. So if you ever need vases for flowers, definitely check out the thrift stores. Because vases are really expensive, typically. And this is kind of like a housewares type section. Some really, really cool light covers here. And they're priced at like a dollar thirty cents. It's kind of crazy. I was looking to see if I could see any names on them. But I don't see any makers' names. Some of those lamp covers or light covers can be really valuable. Let's see. Look at all the sporting goods stuff. They've got so much stuff. Now here, this is kind of cool. It's like a little mini wash basin. And I'm not sure if I should have picked this one up. If you guys are familiar with this name, Definitely let me know. I did end up deciding to leave that one behind. Look at all the clear glass on the bottom. So much clear glass. Look at these glass platters. There's just so, so much. I know I keep saying it, but it's kind of overwhelming how much stuff. Now, this store I didn't feel super claustrophobic in. I actually was pretty comfortable in here. And now we are in their little boutique section. Just going to check this out real quick before we check out. And those were Bostonian classics. I did look those up. They aren't super valuable. And I'm not really seeing a ton of other stuff. That was a Rosetti purse. Just FYI, I have not done very well with Rosetti. This one's really cute. I'm not sure why I put it back because I think that one was really nice. And in the boutique section here, how many ever dots are on the tag is how many dollars it is. So the stuff can go from $2 up to like 5 or $6. And we'll see what we see. Now they did have some brands in here. I was kind of surprised. I love this Denver Broncos Thermal. This one was $2. It had two dots. So we're going to get that one. And now here I was looking for a size. This jacket is actually pretty cool. It looks vintage, but I'm not seeing a size on this one. So I think I'm going to leave it. And then this one had quite a few spots. It was definitely a vintage, kind of like a ski jacket. And I left that one as well. But look at this cute sweater with the 3D crochet. It is Sarah Morgan. And we're back in the nickel stuff. That sweater was only a nickel. We're in nickel clothes right now. How crazy is this? Look at this. Boundary Waters. This is Eli, Minnesota. This is a really, really cool moose shirt. And for a nickel, we are definitely going to get it. I think that one should go for about $15 to $20. And let's see if we see anything else. 
Oh, this one's really cool, too. This one says Roosevelt's Little White House, and it's got the old truck. And I think that one's an XXL, so we're going to grab that one as well. I didn't look a ton. Look at this. Five cents for clothes, 50 cents for denim. You will not find clothes cheaper than this unless you get them for free, my friends. So if you live near Ocala, definitely, definitely check out this store because they have amazing deals. I don't know what this thing is. It was bundle knee. It's like a little baby thing. Oh, but look at this beautiful vintage. This might be chenille, little vintage baby blanket. I absolutely love this. We're going to grab this. And I think we're about done. So I'm going to go ahead, head to the front and check out. And I will see you guys in just a second. All right, so I didn't get a ton, but I got a decent amount and it was $12.31. The clothes are five cents, five cents here. I'm honestly, I'm hurting. I'm having some health stuff going on and I just wasn't feeling it, but we filled up a whole box full and I think we got some great buys, especially for 12 bucks. So I'm gonna show you everything I got right now. All right, so I didn't get a ton, but I only spent $12. I got this little Christmas sweater. How cute is this with the little crocheted Santas? Beautiful vintage baby blanket. Seattle Seahawks Santa hat. Some vintage Christmas candles. Vintage Christmas napkins. Oh, I got this spicy tuna shirt. And then the Cloisonne Belle. This... These do okay. This one is Lena Lou. Really, really pretty with the butterfly and the flowers. And then the HGTV little soldier. Some Wrangler shorts. Look at this pillowcase. This one's probably going to need some stain treatment. Denver Broncos. Thermal. Roosevelt's little white house. And then I got a couple of vintage pillows. Some vintage linens. Hogs Breast Saloon. A couple of Southwestern placemats, two different sets of two. It's a really pretty better homes and garden. And then I got this big horse throw and I only spent $12. How crazy is that on all of this? So if you're interested in anything, shoot me an email, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and I will see you on the next one.